Good day, and welcome to the Procon YouTube channel. My name is Michael Klomp, and I'm a technical support consultant at Procon. Today, I'm going to demonstrate features of Probar 2D's Stair Wizard. This video will discuss the input parameters of Probar 2D's Stair Wizard, and will demonstrate how to save a default Stair Wizard file, and lastly, the plotting and scheduling of rebar entities. In Probar 2D, open up the Stair Wizard and assign a name for the staircase and member. The staircase name gets allocated to the drawing and the member name gets allocated to the scheduler. Using the dimensional sketch reference in the wizard, you can decide either to use the sketch reference layout or to mirror the staircase. Using the sketch reference that just appeared on your screen, specify the dimensions for the staircase riser, going, nosing, and fillet, and then give the staircase waist a dimension. Then, define the global dimensions for the staircase. For the top and bottom landing, define their dimensions as per the wizard's dimensional sketch reference. Then specify the top, bottom and side cover for the reinforcing, as well as the type, size and spacing of the main and secondary rebars. Should you wish to adopt the same parameters for the detailing of other single staircases, you can save the above specified parameters as a default. You can also ensure that the reinforcing in the elevation and plan layouts are linked in a group by ensuring that the link, section and plan bar are checked. Then paste the simple staircase into AutoCAD's model space. To define a double staircase, select a double staircase type and then define a name for the staircase and member. Define all the stairs dimensions by using the wizard's dimensional sketch reference. Define all the landing dimensions by using the wizard's dimensional sketch reference. Then specify the top, bottom and side cover for the reinforcing, as well as the type, size and spacing of the main and secondary rebars. Should you wish to adopt the same parameters for the detailing of other double staircases, you can save the above specified parameters as a default. Then paste the double staircase into AutoCAD's model space. To optimize the scheduler reinforcing, you can open the scheduler and select the member you wish to optimize. Then. In the Modify tab, choose the Select Member Modify command to optimize the bar mark numbering. Once your scheduler has been optimized, you can paste the bending schedule into AutoCAD's model space. 
Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. For more tips and tricks, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to get notifications.